are the outdoors. There's nothing quite like it. The serenity, the crisp morning air, the smells, and the sounds of pumping waves. And the competitive energy that only the top four board riders clubs from across the country can bring. This is the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with Owen Wright. And this is grassroots surfing at its most core. It's in the wild, camping, fishing, fires, big turns, big airs, grom froth, old froth, and mad cones. A concept that could only be conceived by Australia's only metal swinging, gaff wearing, tube packing legend, Owen Wright. I grew up outdoors. We travelled the whole coast camping or in a bus and my whole family together. It gave us like a really good perspective and, and really good connection. And I just wanted to get surfers in general outside, out of their nice comfy houses and out into nature. But to realize how good the products have got to get you out in nature now. Righto, a quick refresher. This is who made the final at Newcastle this summer. And if you've forgotten, here's how it all went down in the dying seconds on the beach. Sheldon Simkus, first turn, a little hung up, but it's a nice wall in front of him, nice snap. He's into the rocks. Oh, what's he gonna do? Hits that little section, and another yeah. one. There it is, 4.78. They got it. And now we're here at an undisclosed location in northern New South Wales where the waves are pumping. And over the next three episodes, you'll see four teams battling it out over five challenges to earn points and see who will claim first prize of $16,000 in cash and Dometic outdoor product, as well as bragging rights as the best board riders club in the nation. This is the ultimate battleground, and this is the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with Owen Wright. Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with this guy, Owen Wright. The next few days is all about having good fun, but it's also about teamwork, good surfing, and tapping into those outdoor skills. Now I'll be your host for the next few days, my name's Vaughan, but we've got someone on hand who is more than qualified to be a judge, a mentor and an expert in all things surfing and the outdoors. He's travelled around this country his whole life with his family in a van. He's surfed on the CT and won events and he has a bronze medal from surfing's first ever competition in the Olympics. Put your hands together for Owen Wright. Come on. <laughs> You're a country. Yeah, I've grown up my whole life competing against Owen Wright. Looking back, Probably those those moments where his bus would pull up at a contest, my bus would pull up next door, and then we'd surf for 10 hours a day, and then compete, try and beat each other, and then go back and we'd be cooking sausages next to each other on the point. When he made his comeback, that was a remarkable effort by him, coming back from an injury like that, and surfing at the highest level and winning it. It was just marvelous. My favorite Owen moment is just watching him, him surf at Chopu. I think he won the Commitment Award. Um, and just watching him go some of those ways was just like, that is crazy. Owen's amazing. He's done so much in the sport of surfing and outside, I guess, just to see what he's done. I grew up watching Owen. Like, nothing stopped him on his way to the top. At one point, he was kind of battling Kelly there in his heyday. So for me, that was pretty inspiring. Getting a bronze medal for Australia in the first Olympics, like, that just set the standard pretty high. It's just so sick to have someone like that so close and... and... It's cool that he's actually camping with us. Like, he, he's using just set up to like, for show, he's actually like hanging with us, so yeah, it's nice. Mate, what are you hoping to see from this first ever Dometic Outdoor Challenge? I'm hoping to see you get out of your nice houses, get into the outdoors and do it in a bit of style. We've got some nice products. And what about the surfing element, mate? We've got some of the best surfers in the whole country, the best board riding clubs in the country. What are you expecting to see there? And the lineup's pretty good. We've got some solid talent here. I'm, I'm hoping to see the young guys take to the old guys and vice versa. So at the end of this challenge, one club is going to be walking away with $16,000 in cash and Dometic outdoor product. Yeah, any money for the board riders club is such a big help. It's always hard to fundraise and um, 
Yeah, it's a massive thing when the club club has enough money to support it. That money, if we win, will do lots of stuff for our junior development program. The club's getting $10,000 worth of Dometic product. It's unbelievable. That's a huge incentive to do well at these sort of events. Yeah, the products, they have a pretty, pretty next level. So yeah, it'd be awesome to take away that for sure. Don't go anywhere because after the break, the battle begins at the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with Owen Wright. to get this thing going. And the good news is the first challenge is right here on site. Oh, tell us what it's all about. All right, out in the field you see a pile of Dometic outdoor products. You've got to get out there and set them up if you want somewhere to sleep tonight. First club to set up their tent site wins. First team that meets our extremely high living standards in the bush is going to take it out. Your time starts now. Mate, the pressure's on and you have to perform when, once you arrive at this spot. You gotta be quick. The surf's pumping, it's getting dark, and this is the perfect way. All right, these are all doing tents and outs and as quick as possible. And that's what it's like when you're rocking up anyway. It was a pretty tricky first challenge. We just looked at that pile of stuff and there was like a hundred different <laughs> products there. So it was, it was kind of overwhelming to start with. This will be your home for the next few days. You're gonna have set, subtly breeze, get a bit of afternoon sun. Get a bit of sun. Yeah, oh, I like the that. Sun. Well, having a look around right now, though. Well done, Jim. We've got Byron Bay with two structures up. Yeah, that's pretty good. We've got Avoca with two poles up. Snappers are already looking like they could be into Tent City. Yeah. And, uh, whoa, I think uh, Merriweather are in real trouble here. Do we need poles or do we just pump it up? I have no idea. I'm trying to. I don't actually know. <laughs> you blow it up. The pump. Just being outside is the best thing about camping. Uh, sitting by the fire, just having a, a quiet drink, and just enjoying each other's company. Giant blowout! Show me what's happened. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, Travi did two tents, pumped them up, and each time he let all the air out when he took the product out. So. <laughs> Here's Owen over here with Travis Lynch, who has had a major city club blowout in the camp world. Uh, he's finally got it together. They've got the thing cranking. Yeah, well, once we figured out the compressor and the connections, we're pretty sweet, because we didn't do much then. The compressor just took over. Mm -hmm. That's looking good. Wow. That's pretty special. Shelly Byron's in the lead with his tent thing. Uh, as far as the clock goes, by the looks of things, are you worried? When it comes down to the end of it, I reckon we'll be all right. OK. I'm starting to feel like Snapper might be creeping up on it. Yeah, like Shelly said, he's not worried about Byron being in the lead right now. He, he, he knows what he's doing, and he knows how to direct these grommets around. So I think it's going to be out of those two teams, to be honest. Look, he's backing himself. He's, he's backing loving himself. It. He's loving it. Yeah, he's he's like bombing himself. Willie, how are you feeling down there? Kitchen setup is next level. <laughs> oh, this is looking good. Whoa, they've really thought about setting off the camp zone here. Look, little bar setup. I'm telling you. Avoca have just hit the lead. I'm taking a quick look around at some of the setups here. That is a pretty polished looking setup. They've missed, they've missed something on oh, one of the tents. Oh no, is this gonna be the thing that brings them undone? It could be. Oh, we've got a hand up, we've got a hand up, let's go. We've got to, we've got to get over here. Let's get over here. Oh wow, it's pretty slick. It's pretty nice. Wow. Good hangout area, nice kitchen. Oh yeah, they've done this pretty tight, that's good. <laughs> oh, there's two elements to this challenge, right? There's speed and there's aesthetic. Like it has to be a functional, operating, but also stylish campsite. Right as we're about to talk aesthetics with the always on trend Byron crew, disaster strikes for Avoca. 
we had a little mishap with the, we had the knives hanging on the back of the little kitchen tent, which made it look super cool, but we hadn't blown it up quite enough. And so when I was trying to get it blown up, I unscrewed the wrong nozzle and I just went, everything went down and we got it back up pretty quick. But um, yeah, I think it cost us a spot or two. While the focus scrambled to get their camp back up, both Snapper Rocks and Merriweather raised their hands at the same time. Wow. I think we'll go over Merriweather first. We'll come see you guys in a sec. Mate, for a team of city slickers, pretty impressive setup. Mate, this is great. You guys, I'll surprise these tents came off the ground, but I'm not surprised at all because Dometic products are pretty easy. What do you like about this campsite, mate? I reckon this floor plan is like Newcastle. <laughs> what does that mean? You easily get lost. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Snapper Rocks are always competitive, always near the top. Uh, time was the enemy today, guys, but um, far out, your zone looks great. Well done. You've really thought about the team element of this competition and brought it all in to a nice, tight hang zone. Oh, Baker. Oh, my goodness. Oh, uh, wow. Gee whiz. I mean, this thing is beautiful. It's definitely the best setup, isn't it? All right. We're going to go and uh, make a decision. Yep. After the break, we find out whose camp comes out on top in the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with Owen Wright. All right, well, congratulations, everyone. Your Dometic Outdoor homes and zones are all set for the next few days. So let's announce our winners, though. Someone had to come fourth, and unfortunately, due to putting up their hands before they'd finished their sight, that team is Merriweather. <laughs> Sorry, Merriweather. We got pinned for um, sort of saying what we were finished a little bit early. In third place, though? In third place, we have a vocal board riders. That campsite looks amazing and fun as hell. But the big blowout right at the end. <laughs> Their kitchen basically disintegrated because of not reading the instructions. Guys, read the instructions. It's that simple. Righto. Two clubs left, mate. 75 points for second, 100 points for first. This was tight. This was tight. Yeah, it was close. But at the end of the day, Snapper Rocks in second place. Snapper Rocks in second. <laughs> so Byron Bay board riders, they won the ABB and they're off to a fly hero. What did you love about their setup? Mate, I couldn't I couldn't fault their side as much as I tried to like pick at them. It just at the end of the day, they won by a country mile and their sight was great. It was. It was. Well done, Byron. A hundred points, and you're off and running in the Dometic Outdoor Challenge. Congrats. With camp set up, it's time to get cosy for the night. We can hear the waves pumping outside as the sun sets, and the forecast looks good for tomorrow's challenge. Wrong with Gromit these days, though. Come on, Grom. Come on, Gromit. Come on, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Here we are. Go. There you go. Let's go. go. Come on. Get ready. Get ready. First <laughs> challenge. Tell these Groms what they're in for this morning. All right, Groms, we're headed to a secret location this morning and we've got a two and a half hour challenge. It's gonna be best combo. Can't be two turns and a wave, it has to be a combo. Let's go for it. Oh, look at this. Oh, we've got two up. Oh, one's in the pit. Oh, the combo straight up. Okay, Rev is uh, pretty strong. Two Rios with a nice finner. For me, this is the best way to the eat so far. Good surfing. Oh, the big snap. Yep. Wow, another there big you go. snap. That's a nice combo. Okay. We might, we might have sealed second position this way.
Righto, well, welcome back. It's been a big morning here at the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with challenge number two, the Grom Showdown, going down this morning just down the coast. And uh, let's ask our junior competitors to step forward. And uh, how about a round of applause for these guys? Did the teams proud, eh? Yeah. The spread between first and fourth was 1.7 points. So it was super, super tight. In fourth place today, with a really nice tube to car for a score of 7.5, Byron Bay, Cav McCaffrey. In third place, with a 7.8, with a beautiful tube to snap, was Merriweather, Manning Gregory. In second place today, earning their team 75 points with another beautiful tube to a big old hack. It was Team Evoker, Hugo Sandlock. Well done, Hugo. And that means your winner is Zaya Hessian for Snapper Rocks at 8.75. Wow. Dynamic combo with uh, some big turns in some uh, finishing snaps. He put uh, a lot of big scores on the board, so congrats, Zaya. That was an awesome morning for you, mate. Zaya Hessian, he's a, he's a surprise package. You know, we've got some great servers in and amongst juniors at Snapper Rocks. He just performs really well in good, solid, looking waves. After two challenges, Snapper Rocks takes the lead. Byron and Avoca are tied for second, and Merriweather, they've got some work to do. On the next episode of the Dometic Outdoor Challenge with Owen Wright, we put teamwork to the test while introducing a new element to the tag team surfing format, the jet ski. And we put those outdoor skills to the test when we see who can land the biggest fish, scoring crucial points for their team. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs>